Welcome, welcome, <clears throat> welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, it it is it is good to be back. Right. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I think that's good. Um, somber story to get into today. Um, Felix Verdejo. Unfortunately, we we do have to get into this, um, and, and this is sad and unfortunate. Um, you guys know what happened. Uh, Felix Rodeo was charged in the kidnap and death of a, I, I guess you could say girlfriend. We'll get into it a little bit. I'll try to give you all the details on it. Uh, Kiesla Rodriguez, I guess is how you pronounce that name. Um, he turned himself in. He was investigated by the police in Puerto Rico. Um, this is a sad ending. You know, it's obviously a tragic event. It's a horrible um Ending for the Rodriguez family, um, you know, it's a nightmare and prayers for the Rodriguez family. Um, and I, I don't necessarily want to do this show, but I feel like, you know, it, it is, you know, one of the main things going on in the boxing world. So we'll, we'll spend some show on it, time on the show and uh, update it when it needs to be done. Um, but first, guys, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. We're going to be back with another show on the Texas channel, the Texas Boxing Scene channel. I'll do my second show. Um, we're going to do it on Omar Figueroa. Um, so please check that out. That'll be on the Texas Boxing Scene um, on YouTube, of course. Um, but please like, share, and subscribe this show. Um, so let's get into some of the details. Um, Felix Rodejo obviously lost his, his last fight. Um, to Nakatani, um, he got knocked out, and it was a, up until that point a very fun competitive fight. Um, you know, Nakatani was supposed to be that guy. He was supposed to be the Puerto Rican star that carried the torch. He was supposed to replace Cotto. Um, you know, he had sponsorship deals with Nike. He was he was a big deal. Uh, he was an Olympian. He lost to uh, Vasil Lomachenko, um, and then he saw he had a horrible motorcycle accident. Then he took a loss. Then he took another loss against Nakatani, and his career never panned out. And um, you know, now now his life didn't pan out either. Um, he killed pregnant girlfriend uh, Kiesler Rodriguez. Um, apparently, Rodriguez's mother had said that uh, she was worried about him, uh, about her daughter, saying that she was worried that. Um, you know, she'd better watch out that Rodriguez, uh, that Verdejo had threatened her uh, to get rid of the baby, um, and she didn't want to do that. Um, uh, allegedly, from what I understand, and we're still trying to put this together, is is that uh, Verdejo came over. He wanted to see the blood test to confirm that she was pregnant. Um, when he he did that, he kidnapped the young lady that you can see here. Um, Tied her up, uh, put a, 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 a tied her up, uh, hand, hands and feet with wire, attached a, a cement brick block to her, uh, threw her overboard, and then shot her several times uh, while her body was uh, was laying there. The body washed up. The police found it. They identified it was her. They questioned him, um, and uh, he they made the, he well he turned himself in, and he's being charged with kidnapping and in the. Um, and, and the death of this young lady. Yeah, you know, I don't really know where to go from this. Obviously, you know, everyone gets their day in court. Felix Verdejo will get his day in court. He'll get to say what he has to say. I don't know how he'll plea or what he, he'll do. Um, it's obviously a horrible, horrible situation for... Uh, everyone involved and uh i i can't even imagine the pain that um everyone is going through 
Um, you know, anyone who met Ver Verdejo would have never thought this. Now, again, everyone gets their day in court. Let the facts come out. What I'm saying is that right now, from what we know now, which is not the whole story, it does not look good for Verdejo. Um, like if, if you're, uh, you know, if you're a prosecutor, you got motive, you know, you got, you got a witness, you got prior concern of what was going on. You know, um, Rodriguez's mom also thinks because Felix Verdejo was married as well. I guess, you know, that, that's part of it. Um, uh, she, she thinks t uh, Verdejo's wife was involved in it too. She hadn't been arrested yet, so I, I don't know where to go with that. Uh, but that, this is what we know so far. Um, you know, Top Rank took Verdejo off their webpage. It's a top rank fighter. He's no longer, I, I don't know what contractually, if they've cut ties with them altogether. I, I don't know what the deal is. But this does not look good for him. Uh, from from everything, it looks it looks like he's guilty again. Uh, you know, everyone gets their day in court. Um, and we're not going to rush to conclusions. You know, I'll, I'll be on it tomorrow. Mixed Combat Radio with Matt, and, and we'll, we'll I'm sure we'll get into this. Uh, but this is tragic, tragic ending. Um, if he is guilty, he's facing the death penalty because there are federal charges involved. Um, 2004 Act. I want to say it's called a Violence Against unborn people's act or something like that of 2004 um which is a federal charge um because puerto rico would obviously have its uh you know own criminal code for crimes like this but since it's a federal code it can be prosecuted federally and uh he could face up to the death penalty um this is tragic um it's it's just sad for obviously it's a tragic loss for the family, it's a tragic ending to Vadejo's life. You know, I mean, if this is true, which it looks bad for him, he's gonna spend the rest of his life in jail and may face the death penalty. Um, it's just really tragic. Um, again, I'm gonna be back with a little happier song, a little somber note, a more you know a little happier note. I'm sorry, not not such a somber note, a little happier note. Um, we'll talk about Brandon Figure. Omar Figueroa, Omar Figueroa, a little later on in the day. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, subscribe, share 3D Boxing uh, on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. The second show will be back a little bit later uh, to break down Brandon Figueroa on the Texas Boxing Scene channel. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, again, hit the bell icon, the notification, all that good stuff. Um, it is May 3rd, 2021. Um, Ivan Calderon, still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. The class of 2021 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.